All right, shalom to the elect. I want to start by giving all the praises, honor, and glory to who rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one the world ignorantly calls God. Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right, Bahashem wants to give meaning in the name of and Rakak Wadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, call meaning spirit and Kodash meaning holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. And um, this lesson is centered around, you know, the uh, MPOX, you know, and, um, you know, these different viruses they say and popping up and all of that. You know, lockdowns and stuff could be coming back, you know. Lockdowns and all of that stuff could be coming back, man. You know, because they now I had this article that came out. Um, this article that came out uh, this past Sunday, right? And it says um, the H the WHO urges global action on new MPOX outbreak, right? And it says Geneva Reuters, the head of the world. The, uh, the, the head of the World Health Organization called for global concerted action to control a new MP outbreak, announcing a response plan that will require at least $135 million over the next six months. Let me be clear, this new MPOX outbreak can be controlled and can be stopped. Director General Ted, Tedros Adhanom said in a speech to WHO members states on Friday, later posted on social media platform X, you know, so well, as we as brothers know, you know, they declared it a global outbreak. You see, he said, you know, this MP is now um, some type of you know outbreak or whatever that or sickness or disease or something that should you know needs action, right? And then on top of that, all right, they have this. Um, Thing called the mosquito virus coming out, you know, and then it's something else now, I guess, called the horse virus. All right, and one town um, actually got locked down, you know, one city or one town had actually um, gotten a lockdown already. Okay, so these lockdowns and stuff could be coming back, you see, and if you remember back to uh. The, the 2020, you know, when everything was going on, you know, it was, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, them, 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 them lockdowns and stuff was serious, man. And while they was doing stuff in the lockdown, you know, they were, you know, while, while they had people in lockdown, they were doing stuff outside, okay, with the 5G towers and all of that, you know. But, hey, and Bill Gates said the next, you know, D, the next pen, all right, the next pat, the next pass the mic, if you know what I'm saying, all right, would be, um, people would take more seriously. So what can that mean? And how would he know that there would be a second one? You see? How, like, how could you tell that there would be a second, you know, D, a second demic? If, you know, how would you be able to tell that, you know, if you're not the one um, bringing it about, you see? It's just, you know, man, so, so you know, so this, this could possibly, you know, it could possibly happen, you know, it, it could possibly happen. I remember the brother Ward Camp was saying, you know, some woman said around the door, around the time of fall, which the time of fall is like what, uh, August, September, October. You know, it's still I feel like it's you know still a little bit of summer right now, but you know, it's um, it's about to stop, okay. But something's got to happen, 
something. All right, and this is all, you know, leading into the year 2025. All right, and the brother Amawan Gabar. <laughs> Shalakia. The brother Amawan Gabar had put up a, um, He had put up a post that says, I'm going to get it right now. It says, WEF document confirms 6 billion humans will die in 2025. All right? I don't know if you can see that. But, you know, this problem was. Anyways, anyways, all right, they say in six million people are going to die, so we could feel, you know, something is about to happen, all right, something has got to happen, man, you know, this devil, the so-called white man is up to something, believe it or not, he's up to something, okay, people have, you know, four years, all right, because back the thing in 2020, that was a trial run, man, you know, that was a test run. All right, you know, see what people would do, see what would happen, you know? That was like a whole test run, man, you see? And then, you know, after all that happened, it eased up, okay? But it's not over with. <laughs> this devil said it ain't finished, okay? Because they want, the so-called white man, he wants what he wants, man, all right? Living in his society, you know, he's like, no, y'all, no, nah. you know, it's not over with. But let me get this real quick, all right? This is one scripture that always comes to mind when I think about, you know, them locking stuff down and coming with all these different type of things. There's a relation, chapter 12, and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, you see, which is, uh, mankind okay you know all mankind right it says what to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you who's the devil the so-called white man you see the devil is a so-called white man all right is having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time okay so this devil you know he knows that his time is almost up but, you know he's coming down with a whole bunch of anger man a whole bunch of wrath so he's gonna start locking people you know locking people lock lockdowns all right even more than that you know it, it's gonna turn into more you know he's gonna start uh karagma in people all right You know, he's going to have his, you know, little last hurrah before, you know, slavery. Because right, right after this, all right, right after this devil goes down, all right, and right after, um, you know, his king, you know, after uh, Jacob's trouble and all of that, and the missiles and whatnot, this devil is going to slavery, okay? That's just the fact of the matter, okay? You know, so this is... What Esau is about to do, all right, this is his last, you know, his last go-round, okay? This is his last go-round on the merry-go-round, all right? You know? And people, and listen, people was panicking over, you know, um, people were panicking over uh, the thing in 2020. They were, they were panicking, they were panicking over that. You know, so how much more the next one? You have people over here, you know, dying because they, uh, or, you know, pretty much getting sick because they, uh, you know, was, um, you have people getting sick because they, uh, you know, couldn't go outside, you know, people were getting all depressed and whatnot, all, you know, all because they couldn't have the freedoms that they used to. Yeah, man, life is about to change as you know it. All right, it has to one way or the other because prophecy has to happen. Okay, 
you know, this life of, you know, um, regularly, you know, living and, um, go, you know, going to the store, getting food and, you know, paying your bills and everything and all of this extra stuff, you know, all that stuff has to come to an end, okay? All of that, um, you know, all of this, you know, bread and circus as well is going to come to an end. You know, the entertainment, you know, that has to come to an end too. You see? Let me get this real quick. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting verse 1. <clears throat> to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. So everything has a season, all right, and a, a time and a purpose, okay? It says, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, you know? And right now, you know, there's uh, the time, you know, for, for breaking down, all right, break it down. Uh, this devil's, you know, rulership. You know, the Lord is gonna break. The Lord is breaking down Esau's rulership. All right, and he's breaking down. Um, you know, society. He's breaking down America. All right. This is that. This is that time. Okay. This is that time. All right. says a time to weep and a time to laugh yeah right now you know it's going to get worse the time a time of weeping so, you know a sad time a bad time all right you know i remember back in 2020 you had this scripture this is a quick precept this is um isaiah 24, right, and verse, um, verse 11, it says, there's a crying for wine in the streets, all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone, yeah, you know, and that'll come back, that'll come back if you don't, there's another lockdown, okay, this is, Book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Stop here. It's driving. Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, and I'm starting in verse one. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Bewail your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. See, so destruction is at hand. All right. Destruction is about to come upon America. You know, so and somebody could get mad, you know, that the fact, you know, we keep chanting this place down. Well, yeah, so that we got the kingdom, all right? Which ultimately, you know, the kingdom of heaven is gonna well well the kingdom of heaven will be the best rulership there has ever been on the planet Earth. The best rulership, man. You know? It's going to be complete righteousness. You know, peace as well. You know? So, we need all of this. So, we need all of these things to happen, like Jacob's Trouble, uh, the MOTB being made mandatory, uh, all hell to break loose. We need these things to happen so we can get the kingdom. However, you know, if it ain't for the Lord, know that we don't want you know we don't want to die in these times okay but um back to another scripture all right Ecclesiastes 3 oh yeah for Jake as well all right let me get this because I'm talking about Jacob's trouble 
That's what it's for. This is Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse um, 7. The morning has come unto thee, O thou that dwellest in the land. The time has come. See, it's a time and a purpose. You know, it's a time and a season for everything, right? The time has come. Jake had a time, you know, to do what they, you know, to do whatever they was going to do to repent as well, you know. But see, now the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right? It says, the time has come. The day of trouble is near. And not the sound of the den of the mountains. See? Yeah. All right? So trouble is near. It says, so back in um, Ezekiel, I Ecclesiastes 3. It says a time to weep and a time to laugh. And guess what? When all hell breaks loose, the reign of the Lord, they're going to be laughing. You know? The reign of the Lord going to be laughing. It said that destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. So at all the destruction and hell that's going to be going on, all right? The reign of the Lord going to laugh. You see? We suffering right now and the world is rejoicing, but the world going to suffer and we going to rejoice. Okay? It says, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. And, you know, ultimately that's what's coming, you know. Uh, uh, the time to, a time to lose everything, okay. That's about to come, you know. A time you're about to lose your job, you know, you're about to lose your possessions, you might lose your house, your family, you know. People's life is about to drastically change. Alright. You know, you may you may even lose your life. Okay? Well, I mean a lot of people are gonna be losing their lives, their lives, alright? But simply for the men of the Lord, you know, you might have to get martyred. See, it's the times we're coming into, man. This is some serious times, actually. Right? You no? Know? Just lock it. Bear with me just one second here. The box is shot. a time to lose, a time to get, and a time to lose. See? And once again, all right, Jacob's trouble, what if, Jacob, what if Jacob's trouble um happens, you know, through this? You know? What if Jacob's trouble comes, comes in, you know, through this lockdown? What if this is the way the Lord wants to pop it off? All right? What about that? Okay? Time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away. Um, but let me get that thing about losing, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's locking. Second Andrew chapter 16. Oh. Alright. Pretty much, alright, you know, I'll just, I'll just read through it. Second Andrew chapter 16, starting at, um, hold on, it's a lot. Starting in verse um, 41. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth is one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it. All right. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. Okay. Hold on. It's 
lock it. He that soweth as if he that should not reap. Okay. All right. Let's lock it. it. Says. It says, so also he that planted the vineyard, as he that shall uh, not gather the grapes, they that marry as they that marry, they that marry as they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers, and therefore they that labor, labor in vain. So what it's letting you know is, you know, the things here is temporary, man. You know, because, you know, it's pretty much, you know, going to get destroyed. The things you don't have now is permanent. So that means what? You're going to lose. You're going to lose a lot. I see people in the world, all right? But see, the thing is, with us brothers, all right, we're used to losing, all right? All right? We, we're, we're definitely used to losing everything, you know? We, we lost our lives in this world. You know, we gave that up, okay? We lost all those things, man. All right? So, you know, and we're not attached to this place, Okay? know but you know just it, these times are coming man you know losing and all of these things people don't expect it these people in the world they don't expect it I wonder how many people know that they're about you know pretty much know about another lockdown coming okay and what that could turn into all right how they could lose things okay think about it as well you know if the lockdown happens, because remember, I remember last lockdown, they said they, they were talking about going door to door to people's houses and stuff. Last lockdown, you know, what if, you know, that happens, what if uh, they start taking people out of their homes and stuff, like forcing them out? Now they done lost their house. These people are going to start losing stuff, man. All right? People are going to start losing big time. People are going to start losing their children. All of these things. All these things people work so hard for, okay? And, you know, once again, you know, this is coming from, you know, I remember, I know, I, I remember, I know what I started off with going into the, uh, the, the, you know, a possible, you know, another, um, you know, outcome, you know, or, or demic, all right? Which they tried to say, they tried to follow up and say, this ain't going to be like another C-19, you know, they, that's what they... I saw a news article that said that they, they responded pretty much saying this ain't going to be like another C-19. But let me get this, though, right? Because this is... um. This is... um. It's Rock 12 and 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips... But in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. You know, let me get a precept for that real quick. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55 and verse 21. And it says, the words of his mouth, let's lock it. it says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn with swords. Just showing you that the white man, so-called white man is deceptive. Okay, you know? a deceptive person you know here it is it's not like uh another it's, it's not going to be another c19 but it's spreading talking about lockdowns it's, it's the same fucking thing the devil is a liar okay <laughs> the devil is a liar okay you know but um yeah man you know i wonder how the people know that they about to you know lose. Well, how many people can know that there's something coming down the line? You look at all these people around you and stuff in the world, you wonder, you know, how many of them know what's about to come. 
or have an idea of what's about to come. Like a real, actual idea of what's about to come. You know? But, yeah, man. Alright? I just wanted to, you know, do a lesson on that. Okay? Because something's coming. Alright? We don't know exactly when something's going to pop off. Lord willing. Hey, you know, Lord willing this year. Okay? So, you know, we could hurry up and get him out of here, man. You know, I, I honestly feel 2025 is going to be a, a, a big year, man. Remember Apostle Dahar, you know, coining the years. I wonder what he'll coin uh, 2025. This Because this, this year, remember, uh, 2024 is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You know? So, yeah, man. All right? So, hey, with that, I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory. Who rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Shalom to the elect.